Joining me is LSU uh, defensive lineman Devon Gottschall. And Devon, I know obviously tonight didn't go the way you wanted. Just talk about uh, the defensive experience tonight. Uh, I mean, uh, it didn't go as well. You know, of course we got a loss. You know, we just got to play better. You know, I feel like, you know, I mean, people will say, you know, the offense went three and out, but, I mean, you know, defense, you know, it's our job to stop. So we just got to play better, you know, we got to get better each week, you know, in the zone of Texas and m We just got to play better, you know, get back on track. From your uh, opinion, you know, the, the three losses in a row, how is this loss, say, different than the other two from a defensive standpoint? Where were the breakdowns for you guys different this time around? It's, uh, it's kind of the same. I mean, you know, the last two games, you know, Bama, they busted, you know, a couple big runs, but I kind of feel like they kind of got after us in the passing game a little bit, kind of hurry up offense, you know, kind of pass quick passes. But, I mean, you know, we just have to step up as a defense, you know, and just shut it down. That's our job. I mean, there's no excuses. How tough is it, you know, emotionally to get up uh, when you fall behind three games in a row and you've lost a couple games? How tough was that slow start today to just kind of play 110%? It takes a, it takes a man to get up get back up and go to work each and every day. It takes a, a child, somebody who's who don't get up and uh, complain and, you know, don't want to do the right thing. But it takes a man to get up and come out there and do their job each and every day after a loss, after three losses. So, you know, we have to get ready and come back and get ready for Texas A&M, who's a really good offense. What was it like playing here at Ole Miss? It was a cold, nasty day. The crowd was obviously into it right from the get-go get because they got off to the fast start. What was the experience like? I mean, it is a loud environment, but, you know, we just had to, you know, keep on track, keep composure, you know. I mean, it was just like Bama, you know, Bama was pretty, was pretty loud, you know. We just have to keep our composure, you know. I, I believe, you know, our team, you know, we can win big road games like this, like Bama. I mean, we can win. We just have to come together as a team and, you know, just pull through. Who on that defensive side of the ball has kind of been a leader in that locker room over the last couple of weeks that's been a tough time for you guys? Who Who's one of the people that kind of steps forward to kind of set the tone? Uh, probably Jamal Adams and uh, Jalen Mills. Mm -hmm. The two guys, you know, they step forward. I mean, we have a lot of leaders, you know. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of leaders, but those two main guys, you know, they step forward and kind of, hey, guys, you know, we need to do this, we need to do that. Those two guys are, you know, really main leaders. What was Coach Ogeron like today? I know this is an emotional game for him coming back to his old stomping grounds. Did you guys talk about it? Yeah, he was fired up. I mean, he wanted to, you know, he probably, you know, everybody wanted to beat Ole Miss, but he wanted to beat Ole Miss, you know, bad, you know, because, you know, he played, he coached there, you know. But, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we didn't feel like, I mean, we just didn't come out and play good enough to get the win, you know. that's I look at it as, you know, take responsibility for the D-line. We didn't come out and play good enough, you know. We have to bounce back and get ready for Texas A&M. Devon, thanks for the time. Thank you. All right, let's go back to Victor in the studio.